What's going on guys, the Crypto Lark here. Today we're going to be talking about NAM, 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 everyone's favorite smart asset, blockchain. Really, I wanted to do an update video for you guys. We have done videos on NEM before, but there's been so much going on over there. I thought it just needed a dedicated video to give you guys really the key updates on what has been happening over at NEM. Before we get into that, quick shout out, as always, to everyone who has been hitting that like button. Of course, everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. Furthermore, this is, of course, not professional financial advice, guys. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Let's get into it. Now, if you're not up to speed on what NEM is, I have some other videos where I go much more in depth, but a quick rundown. NEM is a custom-built blockchain. It's not a fork off of anything else. They made their own blockchain from scratch, and they have two blockchains that they run, actually. NEM is the public blockchain, and they have Mijin, which is a private blockchain for business that might not want to have everything on a public ledger. Company secrets, design patents, intercompany things. You don't want all that necessarily to be public information. So that's what they have Mijin for. Mijin has a lot of business. Now, currently, they have an upgrade that they've implemented on the Mijin blockchain, and that's Catapult. That gives it 4,000 transactions per second. Now let's put that in perspective for a second. Currently, Ethereum is doing about 13.3 transactions per second. Not so many. Neo is promising 10,000 transactions per second, but they haven't had to do it yet consistently. They don't have that much business yet. Nor does NEM necessarily. We're still in early days with a lot of these blockchain projects, but they are definitely working towards that as a goal now. NEM, the main public blockchain, has not implemented Catapult yet. That will be coming sometime this year. So do keep your eyes out for that to happen. I would expect price action to follow the announcement and the deployment of that. So it's something to keep an eye out for moving forward. But 4,000 transactions per second is nothing to be shy about. And of course, that is just the start. I'm sure that as time moves on, they will continue with upgrades moving forward. Now, one other thing I want to mention too, NEM has what's called harvesting. So if you have more than 10,000 NEM vested in your wallet, you'll be eligible for harvesting rewards. Now, this is one thing that I see as a potential weakness for new NEM investors. And as much as I love NEM, you got to keep it real. If you go out and you spend your $13,000 now to buy 10,000 NEM and think, all right, <sighs> harvesting time, give me some NEM. Well, you really don't get rewards all that often. It's based on a proof of importance system by how much you have, how much you, how long it's been your wallet, but also how much you use ZEM back and forth to create your importance on the network. So if you just have 10,000 and you're hodling it, chances are you will not get very many rewards compared to other proof of stake systems where you get a consistent percentage, for example, for example, Neo with gas or uh, PIVX with their, you know, 5% per year. Not quite as good, to be honest. This really benefits super early adopters who bought huge amounts of Zem when it was a third of a cent. Those times may be passed. If you want to really get uh, your benefits out of them, you might need a super node, and currently that's going for about three and a half million dollars. So maybe out of most people's pocketbooks uh, for that one. But you know, rewards do come. So if you are holding more than 10,000 them, make sure you are holding those in your wallet so that you are open to get harvesting rewards when they do come through. Now, all that being said, one of the things that NEM absolutely has going for it massively is the team. The team over at NEM are super dedicated. This is Jeff McDonald. He's the VP. Lon Wong is the president. You've also got people like Jason Lee who are just super dedicated. These guys are some of the guys who probably get the most air points miles out of any team in the whole space. They are constantly going to 
summits and conferences and events, talking to people, meeting people, pushing NEM, getting it out there, getting it known, getting people talking about it, and it pays off. It really does. They're building five blockchain centers in Southeast Asia. This is, um, I think it was Jason Lee. He went, oh, no, sorry, it's David O from Copyright Bank. My apologies. He went over to the one in Kuala Lumpur just to check on the status, see how the building of the building is going. And so those are coming. They're really trying to make solid footprints in Asia. They're based out of Asia. But that's, you know, really cool to see them actually saying, hey, we're building centers all over the place. We're super serious about this. Over in the Philippines, you can now buy Zem with Philippine pesos. Of course, fiat entry points are always good for any cryptocurrency. By the way, it's really big in Japan. And if you guys know anything about the cryptocurrency space, things that are big in Japan tend to get pretty big. And Zem is big in Japan. They have everything from the Zem girls to uh, uh, a Nem bar. There's a bar in Tokyo where you can go talk about Nem and pay for your drinks in Zem. So that is really cool. And New Zealand! They talked about New Zealand! They were actually here recently. I got to meet with Jason Lee when he came to Wellington. They are having a big push right now into Australia and into New Zealand. This is a fun little video where they buy some pizza using Zem. Make the great joke, gosh, I hope this isn't like the time that that guy bought Bitcoin or bought pizza using Bitcoin. You know, watch this video in 10 years, go like, oh my gosh, it was like a $100,000 pizza. But uh, yeah, it was good nevertheless. Okay. Now, there are a lot of companies which are using the NEM blockchain already. Now, if you compare this to other blockchains across the space, NEM's number two behind Ethereum. Look, NEO is catching up. More and more projects are coming to NEO. But really, if we're looking at the number two for the number of projects being built on their blockchain, it's NEM. These are the ones that are currently public companies on the NEM blockchain. Again, we're not talking about things that are on Mijin. There are a lot of companies using the Mijin blockchain that are not listed publicly here. But this is a pretty decent amount to start off with, nevertheless. Lots of upcoming ICOs as well. XRcade is looking to bring um, easy distribution of video games using the NEM blockchain. We have LoyalCoin, which is a loyalty rewards program. Bankera is building a bank. They're accepting Zem, but also Ethereum. Pac-NEM. If you want to play a little bit of Pac-Man, you can use your NEM to do that, should you so desire. Zeus Exchange will be using the NEM blockchain as well. We've got Blockgrain. This is a community fund proposal. This is a really interesting project looking to, you know, basically put agriculture on the blockchain. Farmers, brokers, buyers, logistics. This could really streamline agriculture in general. So I think this is a really cool idea. We've got Location Core. We've got Family Points. We've got Snap, we've got Ethel. Holy cow, they are busy over at NEM. And why is that the case? Well, it's a very strong blockchain. It's a company that wants people to come build on them. They're constantly pushing it. They have a giant war chest full of money for people to come and build on them. And it's really, really easy to make a new token. You actually make a new token in about a minute or two um, using your Nano wallet. It's really, really quite easy. That being said, you know, they also have this huge amount of backroom support for getting people to build on their blockchain. So that is really cool. And they've just had a global hackathon where hundreds of ideas were submitted about how to use the NEM blockchain. And there's just so many great ideas in this list, it's crazy. Recording, land ownership and leasing, Cloud funding services, accounting, blockchain software, parking, crypto parking. Why not? We all love crypto parking. So many things are happening over at the NEM blockchain. It's actually kind of crazy to think about it. Now they've got it. They've just developed a cold offline wallet. Nice. Dig that. Extra security is always good. And finally, 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 we have hardware wallet implementation for NEM. Great. This is absolutely great. 
So that's on Trezor. Unfortunately, I've got a Ledger Nano. Maybe I'll get a Trezor to hold my Nem there, but, you know, hopefully we'll see Ledger uh, catching up to the show pretty soon here. Now, Nem has been in the top 10 basically forever. Once in a while, it has been booted out in some, you know, crazy market events, but basically they have been in the top 10 forever and have really held their position very strongly. For all of the aforementioned regions, it is a strong blockchain. It is its own blockchain. A lot of business is coming to it. The price action on NEM in the last year has been crazy. Now look, the last year has been crazy for cryptocurrencies anyway, but NEM has definitely held its own during this time. One year ago today, you could buy NEM for a third of a cent. Wow. Now, of course, today it is at $1.35, and we have seen it hit as high as about two bucks quite recently. So that's pretty impressive growth for one year. Now, the question, of course, has to be, where do we see it going moving forward? Well, if it can maintain its top 10 position, which I believe with all the business coming to the NEM blockchain, that yes, they will maintain their top 10 position and continue to grow moving forward. Look, to see NEM as a hundred million dollar, or sorry, hundred billion dollar market cap, not out of the question at all. Not out of the question at all. It's just, I think, really a matter of time. Now, look, are we going to see 30,000% growth or something on it like we have in the last year? Well, no. No, no, no. It's not, not going to grow that much at this point. It will grow a little bit slower now that it has reached the $12.1 billion market cap, but it still has a massive amount of upward potential. Seeing a $5 NEM, just a matter of time, guys. Just a matter of time. So all things to put under your cap and to think about, but you will let me know what you think about NEM in the comments section down below, guys. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.